Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel. Here we share beginner friendly coding tutorials on Scratch, Roblox, Minecraft, web programming, and many more. Today we're going to create a fun Roblox game called Easy Obby Game. This tutorial will be divided into two parts. This is the part one of the tutorial. And this tutorial will focus on the design of the game. We'll learn how to use the part toolbox inside of Roblox Studio to place down blocks in which our character will jump over. Here we'll create cylinders and normal blocks while learning how to anchor blocks and duplicate blocks. The main goal of the game is to reach the end to the fishbowl. All right, so let's get started. To start, let's create a project in base plate. So let's go to new, all templates and base plate. Here, I'm gonna double click and wait for the server to load. Now I can move around by pressing the right mouse button and turning. I can also use the WASD to control my movement. First, we should add our base plate. So here we can go to home toolbox and we're gonna click toolbox here. And in the search bar, we're gonna look up neutral spawn. Press enter and we should grab the first neutral spawn and put it in our map. Make sure that we can see the symbol facing up so we know our char character respond correctly. Next, let's go to parts and let's click on blocks. This will create a new block and we're gonna be making three blocks so I can make two more blocks here by just clicking on parts. And to edit the size, I can go on to model scale and now i can edit the size of this box for the first box i'm going to make it the same size as this spawning um, area and i'm going to bring it high up a little bit higher like so and make sure between the three blocks there are four stubs in between i'm starting at the neutral spawn so four here and here i have four Move this blocks back stretch the box out like so. And I'm just gonna have a staircase pattern where the first one is the highest followed by the second. And then the third one will have the lowest height. So again, make sure there's four stops in between. So one, two, three, four. Now I'm gonna stretch it the same width and stretch this out. And now leave the height as it. We can also color these blocks if you want to, to make them more colorful. And to color them, we can click on the box we want to color, model, color. And here we can pick whatever color that suits us. I'm just gonna pick um, some random colors for these three blocks, but you guys can uh, mess around, pick the colors you guys like. Now, it's also important that we actually anchor these blocks um, the point of the game is that after we remove this base plate, the blocks will be remaining in the sky. So to do this, we should anchor. So we're going to click on the box, model, underneath lock in group, there's anchor. So we press that. And there's a gray highlighted anchor box um, representing that we have successfully anchored it. So we're going to do that with the other two box, so anchor, anchor. So now we shall add one more block so here. I'll add another part. And for this block, we actually want it to be 20 length by four width. To specifically change the width and length, we can go down over here to properties. We can go down to parts and underneath size, we can change the numbers to fit what we want. Here right now, this represents the width of this box. And here we shall have 10. So let's put in 10. And I want this box to be 50 in length. So I'll change the width to 50. And this will give us a 10 by 15 block. And I'm going to drag it here and make it four blocks or four steps away from the third block, like so. And I'm going to change the color. Something like this. And again, I'm going to anchor it. So press enter. 
Now we're going to have, have it so this block is anchored by a top block. To have it anchored, we should use the hinge. But before we do that, we should have a little anchor in the middle of this plank. So we shall add another part. Here, I'm going to stretch it out a little bit, make it a little bit thinner like this. And I want to place it in the middle of this plank. And I'm going to change the color so I can distinct the two different blocks. And again, I want to anchor this. Now I'm going to create another block. And this block will also be very long and very thin. So here, here I'll make the length to be 50. But the width I'll keep as 4. And um, here I'm actually going to make this higher. And to do that, we can go up again to properties. Here I'm going to move up until I get the data position. And the second value is the y value, which is the height. This I'm going to add 10. And then the uh, this block will be increased and raised to 10. Whoops. Like so. This wider. Like this. To add a hinge, we should go to again model. And underneath create, we can click on this upside down triangle. We found hinge. Here, it's important that we start out from the bottom. And so we can start here. So we click in the middle and we're going to look up and click on the middle of this box, creating a hinge connection. So now we can see on the right side, we have the hinge constraint. And it's important to set this block not to anchor. So leave it unchecked on the anchor. And now if we actually go to play, we can see that this block will be uh, kind of hanging off this hedge. Hedge is also a movable joint, um, commonly found in doors. It is a connecting part that connects the uh, static part of the door to the moving part of the door. It is also commonly seen in swings. Now let's continue with the second part of this obstacles. So on the left side of the hinge platforms, I want to add a block that is 12 blocks away. So I'm gonna go to model parts and blocks. And here I'm gonna scale it. And I'm actually gonna manually type in the value so I can get exactly what I want. Here, the first value should be 20. And the second value here should be 10. And I'm gonna move it about 10 blocks away from the hinge. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And again, it's important to anchor this. Now let's add a cylinder. To add a cylinder, I will go to home, parts, a cylinder. But notice that the cylinder is actually upside down where the rounded is um side is on the side so that the character cannot actually jump on this otherwise it'll slip off. To actually rotate it back, we shall scale it first. And the point is to scale it so that the round part is actually almost as well. <clears throat> and the trick is to scale this as small as possible, like a, like a cube almost. And that way we can actually rotate this without too much problems. And now after we have rotated to the right orientations, we can scale it back up. And we can also adjust the height if we wanted to. And again, I'm gonna make this a tiny bit bigger and a tiny bit higher. And once again, we want to keep about four stubs between each block. Now it's time to add another platform here that is almost squares. So we're gonna add block four steps away. And here I want it to be 10 by 10. So I'm gonna go down size. First value I'm gonna change to 10. The third value I'm gonna change to 10. And move it four stubs away from this. And now we're gonna duplicate these two blocks. So we can select two, these two blocks by holding the shift button. Over here, 
we can see that they're selected. We can right click, duplicate, and you'll duplicate these two blocks. I'm just gonna drag these two blocks to the right and uh, continue dragging them four steps away like that. And now we have our first kind of template of the course. And again, make sure that everything is uh, anchored. So I'm gonna anchor this cylinder, anchor this cylinder, this platform, this cylinder should be anchored and this platform should be anchored. So basically the only thing that's not anchored here is this platform. Everything else it is uh, anchored. So this is basically the main part of our project. For the remainder of the project, what we're gonna do is first we can select this base plate over here at top right in the side of our Explorer. And we can simply remove it. So we can just right click and press delete. And you can see that will be our whole game. But before we delete this actually, I'm gonna command Z. So what we want to do is copy and paste this layer, this L-shaped layer into our map so that we can continue to use this obstacles. So to do that, let's select on a Explorer underneath, uh, <clears throat> underneath base plates, let's select part. And then let's select the last part and holding shift, I'm gonna left click here, which will select everything in between. And now I'm going to right click and press duplicate. And it's important that in our model, we have to move selected. So now we can move the newly duplicated block anywhere we want. So um, I'm actually going to move it just right next to the end of this block, like so. And for time purposes, I'm going to start doing the fishing pond at the end. You guys can mess with this however much you want and add and you know remove blocks as you will. So to add the swimming pool in the grassland, let's add a final block. So I'm gonna go to model, part, block. And here I'm gonna move to scale and make this a little bit bigger than the usual blocks like this. And here, instead of color, I'm gonna go to materials I'm gonna go down middle to grass and I'm gonna change the color to uh, green like this. And now let's add in the uh, swimming pool. So here I'm gonna go to home, I'm gonna go in toolbox and right here, right next to where we looked up neutral spawn, let's look up fish pond. And I'm gonna press enter to look and we're gonna grab the first one a fish pond by Jay-Z5245. And uh, it's gonna be a little bit big, so we're gonna click on scale and uh, make this a lot smaller. And then use move, move to the center of the grassland. And again, don't forget to anchor this grass block. And yeah, that's really it. Uh, don't forget that the only thing we should have not have anchored is these flying parts anything else should be anchored. And now the last part of this project is to go back to explore, scroll up until we see base plate, and we can simply right click and delete. And um, now our map will be completed and we can play um, and it will spawn us here and then we have to make our way through this parkour map and um, the destination is going to be the fishing pool. So that's all for today. In the next video, we'll go over how to use Lua to change the cylinder's color and directions. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to check out next part for this project. Thank you. Bye-bye.